Hello and welcome back to Fundamental Simplified. This video is going to be on a concept I don't really see a lot of traders or mentors talking about and that is time frame correlation. Time frame correlation is a concept not everyone understands properly but if they do they don't execute it properly so do watch the video till the end. I hope I give you all a very good explanation of how time frame correlation works so you can go away and apply this to your trading and I hope it will be a game changer for you. So time frame correlation ultimately is when you look at a higher time frame, you look at that trend, but then when you go down to a different time frame, a lower time frame, you see another trend. So what happens is that it contradicts what you see in a higher time frame and what you see in a lower time frame. So when you master time frame correlation, you try to sync it where the higher time frame is in sync with the lower time frame. And once you have, when you grasp that concept, you will be able to make more profit and be a more profitable trader. Ultimately is navigating from one time frame to another time frame and being able to still know and understand where you are in the markets. Okay. Now, in my opinion, this is the first thing that you want to, as a beginner trader, or when you come to trading, this is the first thing that you want to master, being able to navigate through different time frames, high time frames, lower time frames, and knowing what phase or cycle that you are in. Now, don't worry about phase and cycles because that is something that I'm going to explain in this video, okay? But knowing the cycles in the market and the phase, phases in the market will make you a better trader, okay? Understanding how to navigate through different time frames and knowing what phases you are in, regardless of what time frame you are on, but if you if, but if, if you know what the uh, main trend is on the higher time frame, that is the key to mastering time frame correlation. So on a large lower time frame, if you are on a pullback, you can still make money. Okay, so long as you understand that on a higher time frame, that is a pullback. And once it gets, comes to a key level, your main objective is to get back on in that trend on the, on the higher time frame. So for example, if the higher time frame was in an uptrend, and then when you're in a lower time frame, you're seeing a downtrend, you want to ultimately find the triggers, find the signals for you to get back into an uptrend because the higher time frame is showing you that, okay? Now, what you're going to learn today is not just for today. This concept will help you down the line in your career as a trader. I want you to think about that because the, com the, cause, because the market will keep changing. It will surprise you. We might not get another Brexit, but what we do have currently is a fight against inflation, fears of a recession, energy costs going up, the war in Ukraine, and the cost of living rising. What we need to do and what we need to learn as traders is how to adapt. We need to adapt to the ever-changing market. Never look at the charts and be like, that is going to happen. That's the worst thing you can do as a trader. Okay, As the market as the market will always keep changing. Now, if I was to tell you all four or five years ago that there will be this thing called COVID where the whole world will be in going, will, will go in a lockdown and we all will be wearing face masks and isolating and doing social distancing, what would you all say to me? You'd all probably laugh and say I was crazy. Well, what happened three years ago? COVID happened. No one even knew what Brexit was. People didn't even know that Brexit was a thing until it happened. A crazy question came up, do you want to be out of the EU? And people said yes without even knowing what they were voting for. But here's the best thing about what we are doing here, our traders. We are reacting to what's on the charts. If I was to be locked inside a room and didn't know anything about the outside world and all I had was a chart to look at, I would probably make more money than that trader sitting, sitting there on, on his desk looking at the news. And that's a fact. The news is there, is created, is there to create rumours, okay? Watching the news, you're going to try to either buy or sell the rumour. Now, that is not real trading. A real trader will never trade the rumour, yeah? You trade the reaction. And this is where price action comes into it. Price action has everything in it. It will show you everything you need to know. If it's going to go higher, the price action will show you that. If it's going to reverse, it will also show you that. Now, if you haven't already watched my last video on price action, I highly recommend that you go back and you watch my video on price action. I'll, I'll, I'll leave a link at, at the top for you to go and watch that because that has a lot of valuable information and it will also make more sense watching this video and the things I'm about to show you. Okay, now I want to 
take your attention to the l l sentence at the bottom in red that says the art of tr trend trading is the ability to time frame correlate if you want to be the best in this game if you want to be the best at what you do as a trader a trend trader trading trader then you need to master time frame correlation it doesn't matter what time frame you're on but you understand where you are in the market or where you are in the charts be on a daily to a 15 minute to a one hour to a four hour you know where you are and you can navigate very very easily and confidently then that is the art and that's you mastering time from correlation and i can see that if someone can do that long term they will be a profitable trader but also have an edge in the market okay now i want to talk about the cycles in the market there are three types of cycles that you're going to get in the market market you're going to get an uptrend you're going to get a downtrend and you're going to get a ranging market Okay, the ranging market I'm not going to talk about because it's just a two levels that price is bouncing off. Okay, now if you're a range sort of type of trader, then that's for you. This is not for me. I'm more of a trend trader. So we're going to look at an uptrend. An uptrend is consists of a high, a higher low, a higher high, a higher low, and a higher high. Okay, a downtrend consists of a low, a lower high, a lower low, a lower high, and a lower low. Okay, now. When the market is in the direction of that trend, be an uptrend or a downtrend, this is what we call phase one. When the market is in the opposite direction or going against that trend, we call that phase two. Okay, so phase one in direction of the market, in the direction of the trend, and then phase two is against that trend. Now, how do we confirm a trend, a trend in market? So these are my rules, okay, and I'm going to give you those. For me to confirm a trend is when I see two clear cycles. So what I mean by that is for an uptrend, if I see phase one and phase two, that is one cycle. I have to see another phase one and another phase two. That is now two clear cycles. Once I get that, for me, that is a confirmed trend. So I hope that made sense and vice versa for a downtrend as well. Okay. So the first concept that I want to show you guys is this here, the daily candle, okay? Now, I've got a daily bullish candle, a green candle. It can be a red candle, bearish candle. That's absolutely fine. But for this example, I've used a daily bullish candle. Even though it's just one green candle, if I was to go down to a lower time frame, be a 15-minute chart, that one daily candle will show me an uptrend. And this is where you can capitalize as a day trader if you wanted to, and look at look at buys to make profit for that day okay so it'd be a daily candle or bearish candle it can be uh, uh, on a weekly chart but on a higher time frame one candle be a weekly chart or a daily chart when you go down to a five minute or a one minute or even three minute what you will see is that one candle will represent a trend so that's the first thing you're going to get your head around Okay? And if you don't believe me, you can go back and uh, uh, see this uh, for yourself. Okay, Go back on your charts and uh, see this for yourself. Okay, So once you understand that, you can easily take some sort of profit and take some sort of benefit from that one candle and knowing that this is a trend on a lower time frame and just follow that trend because we are trend traders. So I have a question for you all here. What direction do you trade? If you look at the daily chart, we can clearly see it's a downtrend. Why? Because we've got lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, and lower lows. Okay, we can see phase ones and phase twos clearly. When you go down to chart one on a H1 on a one hour chart, we can see an uptrend. We see higher lows, higher highs, and higher lows. So we've got an uptrend going on on a H1 chart. When you go down to a 15 minute chart, we have a downtrend going on. So three time frames, but they are all Con conflict are uh, conflicting okay they're all conflict uh, they're all conflicted in what direction they're trading okay and this is where we can say 90 to 95 percent of traders lose money because this is the bit where they are so confused if you're gambling then you're just going to buy and sell when you see a green candle you'll buy when you see a red candle you will sell and that's just gambling but it's a very thin line between gambling and knowing exactly what you're doing okay very few people make it in this game because if they're willing to learn and put their mind to it, they will succeed. A lot of people come into this game thinking that it's a get-rich-quick scheme and that's how they you know, just gamble and either uh, risk considerable uh, percentage of their account and they blow it in no time. Okay, But if you really want to learn, this is it. 
because this is a contradict this like a conflicting uh, uh, chart where three different time frames are showing you three different trends what do you do okay if you can master this bit here and you can understand what you need to do this is where you're gonna make money and this is where you're gonna have an edge in the market so on a daily chart long-term trend is a downtrend we can see clear phase one phase two phase one phase two and we see clear two cycles okay currently the, currently the daily chart is now in a phase two now if you look on the left hand side on the h1 the h1 is a uptrend but it's actually a phase two on the daily chart if you understand this bit here that this is an uptrend on a h1 but really this is a phase two on a daily you are already a few steps ahead of other other uh, retail traders okay when you go, if you look at the bottom corner here, where the 15 minute chart, this 15 minute chart will show you the trend on the H1 chart, not the daily chart. Why? Because the daily chart is too big of a macro, okay? It's a macro chart where you're looking at the bigger picture. The 15 minute is such a, it's, it's, it's not a macro, okay? So what you're gonna see is this, you're gonna see a smaller trends, okay? And that trend will probably be reflected on the 15 minute chart of the trend that you'll see on there h1 okay so you can take benefit as a day trader if you wanted to and look for buys because the h1 is in an uptrend so you want to carry on following that trend okay and this is a short term buy long term what you will be doing is looking to sell once the market is ready to sell and you're going to know this by looking at the higher time frame for example the daily okay and this is the example here this is me explaining to you now how you get the daily chart now from looking at this from looking at this of three different uh, trends going on now i'm going to explain to you how you get all three time frames to be in sync with each other for you to have the highest probability of making profits in the market okay so now that we're in phase two what we get is we get one green candle and we get an outside bar reversal a red candle Again, please go back and watch my video on price action because it will give you the rules and explain a couple of candles, price action candlesticks that I look at that are reversed when I give rules for those. So it's very, very valuable information. Do go back and watch that, okay? So on the daily chart, this would be your first signal. The higher time frame is going back into phase one again, okay? So once you've got that first signal of a reversal outside bar, when you look at the H1 chart, what you see is price going down that red line going down is actually representing the outside bar on the daily chart now the black line that i've drawn underneath the h1 and the arrow this is also very significant because this is a break of structure this has broken the previous higher sorry lower high okay the previous lower high so that is your second signal that the break of structure and market is probably going to go back into the, the the downtrend that we see on the daily chart now on the 50 minute chart the 50 minute chart will look a bit messy okay the reason why it will look messy is because there's a lot more candles going on and it it looks a lot messy before for it to turn around okay but it's what you can find in that mess that's going to be the gem in for you to get the best stop, stop loss and get the best entry okay so on the lower time frame this would be your entry and you can see the market is turning back into a downtrend. You confirm this with the break of structure and two clear phases of a downtrend. So where I've put the dotted lines, you can see there's two lows, the minor low and then the main uh, lower high has been, so not lower high, higher low has been broken, okay? Once the higher low has been broken, what you see is market going down, making a phase one, and then phase two, a pullback, then we get another phase one, and then we are currently in a phase two. That is now two clear cycles, okay? So once you've got two clear cycles, the current market currently is on a phase two, and this is where you're gonna start looking for price action or other forms of entry for, that you might have that you will now look to get back into a sell, okay? Another way of looking at this for me is when I look at daily chart, that's my chart A, okay? The reason why it's chart A because I'm looking at the trend, the higher time frame, to understand what trend I'm in. And secondly, what phase is the market in? And once you've done that in chart on chart A, then you can go to chart B. Chart B would be like your H1, for example, your midterm timetable, uh, midterm chart, where you're looking at where is the signal for you to now 
say the market is ready to turn using price action, using breaks of structure, and then saying, okay, 15 minute chart is now my chart C, where I'm looking now to find an entry to go back into the trend of the higher time frame. Okay. So I really hope that's made sense. Again, if it hasn't made sense, then do go back and watch this video again. If you have any questions, do comment below so I can answer those questions for you. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the actual charts and I'm going to show you an example of what I'm explained on the PowerPoint. Okay. So if you look on the daily, you can see automatically that we are already in a downtrend. Okay. Again, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows. And again, if I just get a, a brush, I can easily just show this to you guys like this. Okay. I don't really need to um, label them. Okay. So that's that's fine. So we're on a lower time. We're, we're, not, we're in a downtrend long term. Then what we see on a four hour is we are not in a downtrend. Instead, we are pushing up. Okay. Now, this is the, the key here, okay? If I now showed you another, let me just cut something off here, for example, and then go to the 15 minute chart, what does it look like? Yeah, it looks like we're in a downtrend, okay? So again, we have some conflicting trends going on and then you're gonna confuse yourself on where I'm, where, how, what I'm meant to do, what direction am I supposed to trade? Okay, so this is the most important thing here that I want to explain. Okay, so let me just push it a bit forward. Okay, so on the four hour, we saw an uptrend, right? If I put a bubble around this like this, this whole thing here, even though it looks like an uptrend, right this here would be a phase two on a daily and this you can see here so you're in a downtrend long term and now what you have is a phase two which is a pullback on a daily and on a four hour it looks like an uptrend okay what we want to do now is we want to get the signal from the daily chart that the market is ready to go back into a downtrend, okay? So, I'm just going to play a bit forward for you all. Right, okay. So, this is your first signal right here, okay? This candle pattern right here. Again, go back and watch my price session video. This will really, really help you in understanding what's, what happened here. This is a train track reversal. There's rules for this. And this is my first sign of a reversal. Okay. Now, again, if, that's, if this is the true reversal signal, then again, what I will anticipate is a new lower low to be created, breaking this previous low here. Okay. So once I have that, what I could do, is I can go the next day onto the uh, four hour, for example, and I can now look for a possible sell. Okay, so for example, if I'm like doing this, say this right here. Okay, so the market is bearish here. Okay, so it's still an uptrend, but we've got a few red candles. So based on the daily candles uh, of the of the train track reversal that we saw i could go on a 15 minute chart for a day trade and say look i'm not going to look for a buy i'm going to look for a sell based on what i've seen already uh, on a daily chart okay and on top of that i'm going to follow what i'm going to follow this trend here because we've got a here low lower high we get a lower low right here and now what we could possibly see is this here and then possibly another lower low break in this low here, okay? So all I'm doing is I'm going to follow the trend on the 15 minute, okay? I'm going to play a few more candles and then I'm going to explain where I see an entry if there is one. Okay, so again, Mark is going back into a phase, uh, phase two. That's absolutely fine. That's what I want to see. Brilliant. Okay, so this is what I want to see right here. This here 
if this is a phase two, this is your phase two pullback, okay? And now you wanted a signal of when the market is ready to go back down again, okay? This might happen, this might not happen, I don't know. But I've seen the signal through price action that this is time to sell. And this is your signal right here. Again, a train track reversal, okay? So what I do now is, I'm not showing you like proper entries, I'm showing you entries uh, based on price action, okay? So again, I can put an, a sell stop here. I can also put my stop loss just above the wick here, okay? And what I could do is I could target the a three to one or just over three to one or three to one right here, okay? Something like this, okay? So we're triggered in, and that's fine, and that's a day trade, okay? And obviously we could have carried on, and it would have made good profits. But this was based on looking at the trend of the fifteen minute, and also looking at the daily candle closure of a train track reversal. That is a first signal that the market is ready to go back into a downtrend. But we're not ready. We're not. We're not finished here because what we want to do is go to our chart B, which is say our midterm timetable, and we want now look for the actual signal that the market is ready to go back into phase one on the daily. Okay. Okay, so again, what I get is another signal here saying the market is ready and slowly ready to go because this is a outside bar. We get higher highs, lower lows. Okay, so what I would now do is this is I wouldn't want to sell it right here. Okay, I wouldn't want to sell it right here. This this would not be a good risk to ratio. What I would anticipate to do is let the market do this, let the market go back up again, and then once I see the price action that I want to see, then what I want to do is I'm going to sell it and hopefully try to catch a better trade. So let me play the candles a little bit and let's see. So I really want to see a pullback. I want to see a deeper pullback. Now, another thing that I've noticed that is also giving me confidence in looking to sell is when I see market breaking structure like this. Market has broken the previous low here. So the previous higher low has been broken. Okay, so now we got a new low here. Now I want to see the pullback. Once I get that pullback, then I can see where I want to enter. Okay. Okay. This is a deeper pullback, so this is very good. And um, I'm still not going to deviate from actually selling. And this is where manipulation happens. You see these green candles, and what happens? People start panicking and start going to buy. Okay. And this is where psychology comes into it. That's another topic altogether. But sticking to this topic, I'm still going to look for sells. Once I see it, we don't have to catch the top. We don't have to be the first trader in. Okay. Now I've seen my first, I've seen my entry, and this is my entry right here. Why? Because look, this candle here, again, is an outside bar. It's engulfed the previous candle right here. Okay, so what I would do now is I would be happy to take a risk, put in a stop loss here, put my stop loss, uh, sorry, so put my entry at the low of that candle and put my stop loss right here. 50 pips is fine. Okay, so once my trade takes off, I want to get the full benefit of this trade. What I mean by that is I want to make sure that I'm capitalizing on the potential profits that I can be making, not just by looking at the previous low here, but I'm looking at the targeting the previous low right here. Okay, and that would possibly be where the low of the daily is right here. Okay. So that's the last previous low of the daily. So I'm anticipating market to either go and test this low here or create a new lower low. Okay. So as you can see, we are in this trade. Let the market go in your favor. Let the market do what it's got to do. Okay. When once that market goes in your favor, you're gonna get a bit of pullback. You might even get a bit of drawdown, but if you trust your analysis, trust the time frame correlation, then you just trust the process. Okay. So now obviously we're in. Okay, you can manage this trade however you want to manage this trade. And if I go into daily chart, I just want to see what happens if I was correct or not. And you can see obviously we cashed out here, risking fifty pips to make over four hundred pips. That is 
a very very good trade in my opinion okay and obviously does it create any lower low it does okay so it breaks this previous low and we carry on so again you can you could have carried on taking this trade lower okay or whatever you want to do now this was all based on time frame correlation and price action okay so i really hope this was really helpful and i hope that you've learned something from this as always do it's a small channel it's just, it's just trying to grow this channel i'm trying to grow this channel and try to provide as much value as i can um, this information that I've given someone, a mentor, or another trader might charge you money for this. Okay, now I'm not charging anyone for this information because the current climate that we're in, you know, there's a lot of things happening around the world, and I don't. And if I can help somebody and provide some sort of um, value in the knowledge that I'm sharing, especially in trading, and it can benefit somebody, then that's my ultimate goal. I'm not here to make money, and all I ask is that to grow this channel is that you like and you subscribe to this channel so I can bring more value and more videos like this that can help you in your trading journey. So please do like, share and subscribe and I really hope this was really informative and you've learned something from this. If you have any comments, do, uh, do uh, comment below. If you have any questions, do uh, comment below. And if you have any other suggestions or other videos that you would like me to do in the future, then please put your suggestions uh, in the comment box below and hopefully I will try to get those videos out to you. Until the next time, take care.